Well, here we are again. Uh, it's a Thursday morning. Uh, me and little doggy and uh, some Woods, usual get in. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I'm going to have a bit of breakfast down here. A bit of al fresco breakfast. So I'll come up round here. It's nice and sunny today. Right, brilliantly sunny. Um, trying to get a hanger using this GoPro. Inadvertently, I either turned it off inadvertently or it turned itself off last week. Can't quite work that one out. Well, that's the lake. A little bit of film over the top. And as you can see, they're still aerating it because it gets very, very depleted of oxygen during the hot weather. Um, last day or so has actually been the first time in a couple of months it's been below 20 degrees so we're actually starting to get cooler but as we're at the end we're getting to the end of august now it's starting to get cooler you know we're looking at autumn the time of mists and mellow fruitfulness i don't know what's going to pan out today going to look for some fungi in a bit and see what there is well anyway I say I hope you enjoy this little trip out with me um, I'm just going to have a wander and see what there is I'm going to turn this off to try and save some battery power um, I've actually managed to make sure it's charged up I've got both video cameras out with me today I've got the, uh, the handy cam as well as this but I want to try and use the GoPro a little bit more probably get myself another battery pack and then work at it from there um, there's so many functions on the GoPro and it's such a wonderful little piece of kit um, but of course you know it's the operator and not the camera I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, look at that nice bit of sunshine there. Right, there's my little hound. Oh, he's eating grass again. He tends to eat a lot of that, you know. Quite strange, really. Um, I think he must have been a sheep in a previous life. Uh, I'll try to follow in this path, but a lot of this old tree has been cut down across the path I can see why because it has apparently been used by a lot of motorcyclists and they're trying to get them out of these woods um, so on a moha now what have we got here looks like a bit of fox scat there yeah, there are foxes in these woods, and of course they do like to mark their territories up. Anyway, I'm going to take a little wander around and uh, see what we've got around here. Found my old foraging stick. Got a big, uh, got a big foraging stick. Um, friend of mine, who I haven't had in contact with for a while. Should try and we established some contact with him, Adam Savage, he's uh, one Savage bushcraft. He made me a very nice hook to put atop a pole. Uh, it's a nice little foraging hook, it's great. Um, it's sort of S shaped so you can push stuff away and pull stuff towards you. I could have done with it yesterday when I was picking the slows, but as I picked a kilo and a quarter, yeah, kilo and a quarter in around about 15 minutes I thought I left it at that there's a lot of slows there enough to do two key two litre kilner jars so I'm gonna get three more kilners they come in groups of three when you buy them in the shop and slow gin and slow vodka more on that later I'm just enjoying this it's fantastic um, say it's, uh, it's a good time of the year really it's sort of between in between times you know it's neither autumn it's neither summer you know it's sort of the way the 
the seasons blend into one another you know it's quite um it's quite good it's quite nice uh, i can feel the the chill on my fingers a little bit um plenty of wood around here for those that like carving well, i enjoy carving and i might help myself to some more later but i don't know yet i've got to think about that it's um got loads of wood indoors still so it's um it's a case of do i actually need it or should i utilize the wood indoors i want to set myself some projects up for a coming year um but if i remember I, I often say to you guys and girls that i'm going to talk more about this later and often i forget often it just slips through slips through the net um, but yeah, I will I will endeavour to elucidate on some stuff. Plenty of trees being chopped around here. Um, partly because during the early part of the year we had some terrifically awful weather in some people's books, but to me it's just normal sort of weather. We can blame climate change, we can blame this and we can blame that. But to my mind it's just part of the cycle of life. You know, a bit of wind blows, blows a tree down as you've got here. It's nice. Birch trees are the ones that seem to suffer the most, but they're quite shallow rooted, I've noticed. But in many ways, I mean, even though this is still growing, you know, we've got a good resource here. We've got uh, the bark, which can make a, a container or you can use for starting a fire with. You've got the wood where you can carve into spoons, into bowls, into cooksers or cups. Um, even coat hooks, you know, you've got here, you've got a coat hook there. Um, you've got a nice crook there, you could make a ladle from those pieces. Uh, unfortunately, the bark isn't so good in the, in the south of England for, for making containers. You have to really, really look hard for that, for the appropriate piece of bark to make any form of container but other than that it's still a good resourceful wood um ooh, doggy's right out front he's looking for me oh there's some earth balls down there one there and there's one next door to it Sleridoma. um can't eat those which is very unfortunate uh, what are we here? Another slow down my body look of it. Yep. But the only fun guy that seems to be showing it's head in the woodlands at the moment. I've not seen any amanitas, I've not seen any beliefs at all. Which is a bit a bit sad really, but then it's quite early in the year. Oh I don't know where you can pick that up guys. Um I can point to it. There we go, that's a rusula there, been got at by some um, slugs. Uh, quite a nice looking one, a little yellow one, little yellow rusula. Most of the rusulas are edible, some can be quite um, hot. But there we go, hello, some pile of sticks there. Anyway, I'm going to turn this off for a bit as I keep doing well I get yeah, there you go guys um, excuse the wobbly head but that piece of bare bark bare branch there is squirrel damage and it happens a lot around here um, uh, how can I say yeah often you don't see it as blatant as this, normally it's on the top of the branches and grey squirrels can actually devastate woodland that way um, it's quite, and they can be quite damaging creatures hence the reason why we need to um, keep them keep their numbers down because they breed prolifically obviously and they damage the trees and particularly if you've got things like nut plats which we've got down towards Sutton Valence way in Kent we grow an awful lot of cob nuts um, 
if you're commercially growing trees, uh, whether it's uh, chestnut coppice, sycamore coppice, you know, the grey squirrel does have a devastating effect and it is classed as vermin. And they are quite tasty, if you care to eat one. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try and scramble under this piece of willow and move on forward. Well, here I am. I'm going to set up here, I think. It's right on the edge of the woods. Um, as you can see, there's some elderberries there, which I'm going to have a look at in a bit. Um, mostly sweet chestnut on this end of the woodland. Uh, just over there in the distance is Crowhurst Hill, uh, the site of um, an Iron Age fort apparently, where there's some earthworks up there, dating back to that time. Uh, the fence you can see is where they're starting to construct, and right up through here, right up to the top of this hill, they're going to build houses. Over there is Robins Gate Wood, I may take a trip over there a little bit later on, I don't know. But as I say, I'm going to set up for a cup of tea and some cooking. Right guys, I've got two, I've got um, in this one here, I've got the ethanol spirit today. I'm changing it around a bit and in that one I've got mess. I've lit this one up and it's getting there. It, it doesn't feel as hot as it should. Now I'm going to put the water on and put it on now. I'm going to have a sort of fry up breakfast this morning and I'm going to compare these two again. But I'm hoping, I really would like this ethanol to work because I think it's a nice it's a good, it's a good fuel. Um, let's light this old gal up. Yeah, there we go. And um, be cooking up a bit of breakfast in a minute. I'm going to use. I took the pan out of my Primus cook set. I've never used it before. It fits very well as part of the Trangia setup, and it's a non-stick pan, which I really like. Um, well guys I'm going to turn this off a bit as I keep doing you know but anyway as I say I'll, I'll turn it off in a minute I'm just going to um, the meth definitely burns hotter that I do know um, this I can feel the heat coming up around the kettle but when I've done meths in the past I've not been able to do this but it, it definitely burns a little bit cooler. This isn't no bad thing, you know, you just have you need just a little bit more patience for your brew. Um, I'm using a smaller Trangia set today and hopefully um, I'm going to have a go at putting some cook sets together so that you've got like, both Trangias and I was trying to find the honey stove today which is somewhere in the man cave but I was getting a little bit frustrated trying to find it. I'll put it down somewhere and what I want to do is try and have a three burner setup for when I'm out if I want to do anything a bit different um, you know like a stew or something um, as I say I'm just going to compare these two and it's still a fine day I really cannot believe how beautiful it was the guys just come past um, when I was setting this lot up uh, he brought in his Alsatian and you never know, I might even catch a deer, but chances are I won't. But very, very occasionally I do come across this way. Well, sometimes that way, but mostly this way. But who knows? Anyway, guys, I'm going to settle down to do a bit of cooking. And I hope I'm not watching on too much. As I say, I'm just going to compare these fuels. Last time, I must admit, I didn't have the uh, windshield with me either. Um, that may help a great deal. Anyway, see you in a bit, guys. Well, as I say, got breakfast cooking away here, guys. I've got in, obviously, I've got water coming up to the boil there at some point. But in the pan, 
I've got some fungi, mostly it is basically a filled mushroom, uh, some bacon and a little bit of um, olive oil type spread and down there somewhere I've got two duck eggs and two slices of bread and I'm going to try this today, um, bought it in a local camping shop and it's uh, a one a one shot coffee, it's a speciality coffee, it's strong which is the sort of filter coffee that I like um, it's not instant coffee so you've got to wait for it to brew instant coffee for me is uh, a kiss of death but anyway I say my bacon and fungi are cooking away nicely it would have been nice to have actually found some um, wild fungi today but unfortunately where the field mushrooms have been growing the grass has been cut and I only found two there yesterday and other places I've been at well there's nothing but earth balls and one tiny little half eaten moussula but that's life anyway guys oh this sounds really nice can you hear that sizzling I'm going to chuck the eggs in there in a minute I'm going to do a sort of scrambled egg type concoction as well anyway guys I want to turn this off and bon appetit well guys so I was going to set the tripod up uh, I've decided against it, I'm just going to do this a handheld little chit chat. Um, at breakfast, just finishing off the coffee now, and I'm sitting in the sun and it's really, really enjoyable. There's a slight heat haze coming off the field, and everything's all a shimmer. Doggy's enjoying it, he's sitting behind me. Well, um, yesterday I went and took dog for a walk and picked a load of slows. Um, so far I've picked a kilo and a quarter as I mentioned earlier and they will be going into some vodka and to some gin for slow gin in a few months time I'm really looking forward to this it's the first time that I've actually seriously got down to doing some f infused alcohol something I've been promising myself for quite a few years now <clears throat> it's all part of this outdoorsy life thing I suppose um, I'm going to have a go at doing some sauerkraut which is quite easier to do again I need to get the jars I can get a I don't need to buy myself a bowl I've just got to wait for the appropriate empty bucket at work and do it through, through that yeah I just mix the salt the caraway and the cabbage in an empty bucket um, what else is there on the go oh, Avalon made some fruit leather very tasty it is well and we're going to have a go at making that to that end, I'm going to get myself a, um, or get us both a, uh, a food dehydrator. Because I'm going to have a go at making some biltong. And I don't particularly want to keep turning the gas stove on and off. You can do it through the gas stove, turn it on very low. But I want, I want it less, um, less chaotic. Because you get a bit of wind blow through the kitchen, it can blow the gas out. Um, other than that, it's pretty good. I was um, hadn't planned to do anything bushcrafty today, other than eat out. Um, just enjoying this glorious weather. I'm going to have a go at maybe this afternoon firing up the fire pit. But and I was going to do it yesterday. But at the moment we're clearing out the uh, living room to redecorate. It's rather nice, as I say. Um, I've got some plans and some projects I want to do. I've got the nails to finish off the uh, shrimp net and I must get my bottom into gear on doing that one. Um, in a few weeks time I'm off up to Scotland for a week. I do wish I could take Avalon, I wish I could get Avalon to come along with us on this. Of course we do have a problem with Doggy, um, it's trying to find someone to look after him for the week. Um, Maybe next year the wilderness gathering. In fact, definitely the wilderness gathering for me. And maybe Avalon as well. It would be nice to sort of go down to somewhere and meet all you lovely people that do watch this, do watch my little um, bits and pieces. Not professionally done videos on the on YouTube, but it's putting over the point rather than having dramatically good editing and what have you. Uh, I'm just enjoying life at the moment. I've got so much going on. 
uh, I'm considering a, a few few minor things in the new year which I've partially discussed with Avalon and I've just got to sit there and work out see if it's going to be financially viable to do so um, but other than that it's really really good you know as I say no not much bushcrafty stuff but it doesn't have to be full to the brim of bushcraft actually just going out into the woods taking note of what's around you sort of semi-tracking looking at everything that you walk past taking note of what's going on in the trees taking note of what's going on the ground and in the hope that you might see a fox deer maybe a feral um, ferret uh, weasel stoats they're all about you just got to keep your eyes open and look um, today for me it's just sitting here in the sun relaxing and having some breakfast and comparing the two burners both of which I'm pleased I'm pleased to say that the uh, oh grasshopper I'm pleased to say that the um, the ethanol one though it does burn slightly cooler does I think does did brew up quite quickly did boil up quite quickly and I think you need to have it sheltered as well rather than just sort of like cooking the open so to that end I'm going to start looking at as I said earlier I'm going to try and find my um, try and find my honey stove put it in with that I'm going to try and get up a, a rather over complicated cook system um, where you can take two or three Changier burners out and you can have two or three things on the go at the same time because sometimes you know it's like it's like sometimes I want to cook something and then you know like maybe some onions I might want to cook something else at the same time and you need to obviously have the two burners I don't want to invest in a Coleman fuel stove which I quite like they're very very good stoves but it's weight I'm looking at making a lightweight multi burner cook system um, other than that, it's very good to say. Might do a bit of foraging on the way back, pass some blackberries on the way in, pick a few of those. And other than that, everything's all well and good, fine and tickety-boo. And to all you wonderful people, uh, Simon, Sandy, Sam Knight, all you great people, thank you for watching these videos. I don't often get many um, many uh, comments on them these days, but that's by the by. I'll put them up for people to watch, and they can take take off take take away with it what they will. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my coffee off, enjoy a bit more of this sun, pack the gear away, take a wander through the woods, see if I can find anything other than earth balls, which are an awful lot, and they're not edible, sadly. Mm. Bye, bye, guys and just keep on trucking.